Hi, I'm Vi Wickham, and this is a beginning fiddle lesson. This is a tune called Red River Valley. It's a beautiful old cowboy tune um, that I've played since I was a, a little kid. Um, the, I have a story about this tune that uh, was a really touching moment for me. Um, it was when I was about 13, and our family band, the Wickham family band, had been hired to play for the Colorado Gun Collectors Convention, which uh, is basically a bunch of old salty cowboys, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm 13, and all these old cowboys look pretty tough to me, and, uh, you know, I was also a 13-year-old boy, so I was also kind of trying to be a show-off, and I wanted to play all my hard songs like Cotton Patch Rag and Beaumont Rag and Sally Johnson so I could show them what a good fiddler I was. And, uh, you know, because to me, at that time, playing hard fiddle tunes that were technically difficult was what I thought really mattered and, you know, what was going to be impactful to the audience. Uh, I didn't probably use that word then, but uh, I thought that's what was going to them. So um, we were about halfway through our, our playing, and uh, one of the old old cowboys requested Red River Valley. And at the time, I was like, "Why would he request such an easy song for me to play? That isn't like a really hard song." And uh, of course, you know, I played it because he asked for it. And, you know, that's what you do when you're playing in a band. If somebody asks for a song and you can play it, you play it. So I played it, and I played it as pretty as I could. And I looked out, and this old guy was crying. And I was really shocked. I didn't, didn't quite know what to think at the time. And, uh, you know, this, this old salty-looking, you know, tough-looking old cowboy, you know, dressed to the nines, has is, is got a tear in his eye. And... Uh, I was, I was kind of, kind of shocked, really. So, um, you know, I, I kind of got thinking about it, and uh, you know, then he came up and he, he shook my hand at the end of our, our playing, and he gave me a twenty dollar bill, which at thirteen years old, the twenty dollar bill was that was big, big money. I mean, even today getting a $20 tip when I'm playing strolling violin or something is, is still a big deal. But at 13, that was, that was like a life changer for me. And, you know, thinking about that, I realized that the difficulty of the tune really isn't that important. It is not what really matters when you're playing for an audience. What matters is that you play music that touches them. And Red River Valley for that old man was a song that touched him, and it had an emotional connection with him. So that's something for you guys to remember, that even if a song is not that hard, it doesn't mean it's not a good song. You know, some of these beginning fiddle tunes are great tunes, they're great melodies, and there's nothing at all to be ashamed about playing them. So this is Red River Valley. Um, I'm going to play it in the key of G for you. Um, uh, look below for the words. Uh, singing these tunes is a great way to get them in your head. Uh, and it is a beautiful, beautiful love song.
Death Red River Valley, the words to it go, um, From this valley they say you are going, we will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our pathway a while. Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. But remember the Red River Valley And the cowboy that loved you so true So you can see why those words, you know, if, if you're singing those words along with playing it in your head, those words will give you some extra emotional impact and some emotion to communicate out through your instrument. And... You know, that's really the message here, is that it's not about playing notes right or wrong. It's about communicating an emotion or communicating a message to the audience when you play a song like this. You know, another thing that can really help you get clear and focused on that emotion is to close your eyes and close out those distractions as you play it. So we've got, uh, you know, but first, it is important that you get the notes down, too. So the notes are... So that's a G arpeggio, starting on the D. So... Now, the melody just is to three, but we're going to add a little, little ornament to... to really to give us a little more leeway with our bow. Because if we, one, two, three, four, five, six, so that's a really long note if we don't. So you can make that short note, use a long bow. And when you do that, you'll want to go lighter with the bow. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two. So again, the next phrase starts with oh, three, one, a G arpeggio. still on that G arpeggio. Then we walk down. Two, one, oh. Now, this is another really long note, so we got oh, oh, one, oh. Just a little ornament there to make that not such a long note. another little, there are a bunch of those little ornaments that kind of give us a little extra leeway with our bow, because this is a slow song with some really long notes. Um, and if you didn't notice that blow two on the A string, make sure you're getting that. So that 
that's that's the chorus, and the verse is pretty much exactly the same. Um, the differences really are differences of the words. you to play this with your eyes closed and really kind of get into that really calm, relaxed listening state where you're listening to what's going on and try and feel those emotions of, you know, your lover is leaving. You know, so it's a sad song and, uh, you know, feel, feel the sadness. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> 